full details in the blog post linked in the description. The blog post will be kept up to date with any new details that appear. 1. Your TV is overspanning. Your Samsung TV is overspanning if it can't show a full picture output and instead displays black bars on the sides or cuts off the picture from the sides. As a result, you're left with a screen that's not full. To resolve the problem of overspanning, you need to adjust the picture size on your Samsung screen to fit the entire screen as follows. Press the menu button on your remote. Once you press it, you should see a menu box pop up on the TV screen. Next, look for the picture option in the menu box and choose it. You should now see another selection panel containing options related to the settings of the picture output. Look for the option Screen Adjustment and select it to open up a new menu. From this menu, choose Screen Fit and your TV should respond by displaying a full screen. 2. The aspect ratio needs tweaking. Samsung TVs are designed to detect the best possible aspect ratio for your content and then display that ratio on the screen. As such, you can expect that not every single image outputted by your TV will be fitted to the full size of the screen. However, this doesn't mean you can step in and do something about it if you want. How to fix? You can change the aspect ratio on your TV to increase the picture size and fit it to the screen as follows. Press the menu button on your remote. Once you press it, you should see a menu box pop up on the TV screen. Next, look for the picture option in the menu box and choose it. Another selection panel will appear containing picture output settings. Choose aspect ratio and then select four by three or 16 by nine. After that, press the screen fit option and wait for your TV to process the request. Three, your cable is faulty. Some issues are so simple that you accidentally overlook them. However, one of the common causes of a Samsung TV not showing a full screen is an issue with the cable. If your cable is faulty or not connected properly, you can experience issues with the image output such as a small screen. The good news is that this problem is very easy to detect and resolve as follows. Press the menu button. Once you press it, you should see a menu box pop up on the TV screen. Next, look for the picture option in the menu box. If you see this option, choose it then select Screen Adjustment and Screen Fit. If nothing happens to your screen size once you do this, then there's likely a problem with your cable. What you'll need to do here is unplug then replug the cable and try again. If still nothing happens, your cable is probably faulty and you have to use a different one. 4. The source device needs adjustment. Last but not least, if your Samsung TV isn't showing full screen, the problem can be traced back to the source device. For example, a computer or a laptop. In this case, you should adjust the aspect ratio of the image output directly from the source device. Simply enter the menu for picture slash display settings and locate the aspect ratio option. Try adjusting it to different values and observe how the screen size changes. Try doing a soft reset. Often, a soft reset is all that is needed to solve issues on a Samsung TV. A soft reset does not erase any data. To soft reset a Samsung TV, you simply need to turn the TV off. Then remove the plug from the wall outlet and wait for 60 seconds. Then put the plug back in and turn the TV on again. Try a software update. There is a possibility that there is a software bug causing the issue. You can turn on automatic software updates by going Settings, then Support, then Software Update, and ensure Auto Update is turned on. Alternatively, you can manually update over the internet by clicking Update Now. Do a picture test. A picture test is a self-diagnostic process that allows the TV to identify the problem and find a suitable solution. To do this, do the following. Press the Settings button. Go to Support. Go to Device Care. Go to Self-Diagnosis. Then click Picture Test. Try a hard reset. 
A hard reset involves completely resetting the TV to its factory defaults and your data will be erased. To do this, do the following. Turn on the TV and press the home button on the remote. Go to settings, then click general, then click reset. You must then enter a four digit pin number, which is 0000 by default. Then click yes to reset the TV. The TV will then turn off once it has finished resetting. You can now turn the TV back on and set it up again. If your Samsung TV is still not working properly, try taking a look at the comments. I will also keep the blog post linked in the description, updated with any new details that appear.